The following segment is sponsored by Tower Clock Eye Center. Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now, Dr. Michael Servi from Tower Clock Eye Center to talk about something that many people deal with. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I think a lot of us have heard of uh, something called floaters. Mm -hmm. What are floaters when it comes to, um, you know, your eyes? Well, uh, actually, there's two types of floaters. Uh, the first type of floater everyone is born with. Um, we have a jelly inside our eye. This jelly keeps our eye inflated, helps hold the retina on. Um, and inside that jelly is imperfections or little protein clumps. Um, those protein clumps can uh, create a shadow that we see uh, floating by uh, when we're looking at a white background or the blue sky. Uh, the second type of floater... So that's kind of normal. Don't be paranoid yep. about that. Yep. All right. So that, that's, that's a normal floater. That um, might be something like a little worm squiggling by. Um, but and it usually goes away then. And, yep. You know, okay. Yep. All right. Uh, and the second type of floater um, actually is kind of an ocular urgency. Um, it comes uh, very large, kind of some people describe it as spider webs, um, and it could be accompanied by flashes of light. Um, this is actually when the jelly in the eye is breaking down. Does it kind of happen suddenly, or is it? Yes, okay. it'll happen uh, very suddenly. Um, you might see the spider legs come down and uh, uh, flashes of light with it. Um, what you want to do is call your eye care professional right away, uh, get in for a dilated eye exam, um, because when the jelly breaks down inside your eye, um, which is a normal change, everyone will have this event, um, but you want to make sure you're not one of the 1% that could have a retinal tear or retinal attachment when this occurs. So get help for that right away. Um, yes. And uh, the, the quicker, the better. Yep. Um, now, now's a good time of year. It's fall um, to uh, get in and get your eyes checked. Maybe ask yourself when's the last time you went in for, um, a, 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 you know, to get your eyes checked. So many people, we, we have insurance for it, most of us, um, but we, we just don't do it. Yeah, most insurances, um, even your uh, medical insurance, will cover uh, one yearly comprehensive eye exam. Um, it's good to get in there, just get everything checked, just like your normal physical. Um, you know, you get your, your teeth cleaned two times a year. Uh, you see your uh, primary care doctor one time a year. It's also good to get your other senses checked, including your eyes. And what about glasses? Um, I know some people, you know, have had their glasses probably way too long. Um, yeah. Is that another thing that you really should get that prescription checked? Yeah, uh, we recommend um, every year get your prescri prescription checked. Um, if you don't have glasses, every two years is fine. Um, but you want to be able to see the best you can. Uh, you might not know that over the course of the last year your, your vision slowly got worse. Um, and you want to be seeing as clearly as possible. Uh, not to mention kids, uh, they, they'll never know what normal vision is until their eyes checked. Um, so an exam at six months, one year, then every two years after that um, is beneficial to the kids' development. And although they do exams at schools, a lot mm -hmm. of schools, um, they don't have the time to spend. Um, they, you know, sometimes they can, they can be completely wrong. Uh, you know, because there's, they've got the, so many kids mm -hmm. coming through, that really I isn't a substitute for coming in. Yeah, it's a good screening, but any, any child, uh, we actually will do a dilated or cycloplegic exam, and that's where we actually use eye drops to relax all the muscles inside the eye um, so that when we figure out how they're seeing, their focusing power isn't messing with um, the clarity, and we can see uh, the best prescription possible for them. All right, so if people have been putting off getting their eyes checked, uh, you um, are taking new clients? Oh, yes. Um, how can people best get a hold of you guys? Uh, actually, they can call us at 499-3102. Um, we're all accepting new, new patients, and uh, we can help you from there. All right, thanks so much, uh, Doctor, from Tower Clock Eye Center. Um, it's been a while. Uh, maybe it's time to get in there and get them checked out. Thanks awesome. again. Appreciate Thank you. it.